community in Matsila, in the Vembe area of the northern Limpopo, are using alternative energy for their boreholes. This is in a bid to cut rising ESCOM electricity costs. Over 10,000 people are benefiting from a project that will boost, or rather, boast 10 boreholes. Joining us now to tell us a bit more about how the solar project is benefiting the community is Kosi Liwani Matsila. Kosi Matsila, a pleasure to have you on the program this afternoon. Now, the Matsila village is described as a small community in the Vembe area of northern Limpopo. Uh, tell us a bit more about this area and the needs that you have identified there. Yes, you know, it, it is a, a, a small community uh, in the deep rural areas of uh, Limpopo. Uh, surrounded by poverty um, amongst more than 10 villages in and around ourselves. And the question of shortage of water has been a big problem for us for many years. Uh, we started a program to run uh, in, uh, an integrated rural development program. And, and part of the, the challenge has been that there's been a shortage, shortage, shortage of water, um, which led to us as the Machila Community Development Trust, uh, establishing a number of boreholes, about uh, 10 of them, uh, supplying more than uh, 10,000 uh, households, as, as you say. But the biggest challenge has been that the boreholes that we have to supply the community uh, with water mm. is powered by ESCOM electricity. Now, the cost of uh, the electricity has been rising over the years. And it has now become unaffordable for us to supply water to the community. But we do that as the trust uh, without government as assistance. Um, it's important to say that because government must also provide water to communities. So we realize that um, now and again, ESCOM has been threatening to cut our water supply. We decided that we must then um, install solar plants so that we can you know, have um, water provided to our community members in an affordable fashion. Fortunately, we had a meeting um, with a company called 91 Asset Management, which is the biggest asset management entity in, in the country in South Africa, mm. who then agreed to say to us, we can use our uh, uh, social, uh, corporate uh, social investment program, CSI, to assist you to um, install the solar plant so that at least you, you can have uh, clean water using renewable and clean energy. Of course, ourselves as a community uh, and, and a village, we, we believe in sustainable development. Uh, mm -hmm. We are environmentalists uh, by nature and by, by profession. So we tend to be very environmentally responsible. So the solar path has been a vision to get our village into an eco village, a self-sustainable uh, eco village. Mm. Um, so, so we, we, with the help of uh, 91, we, we then uh, got to establish these uh, seven solar plants, powering uh, ten strong bowls uh, in the community. Um, it's working very well. The yeah. job is completed, but it works perfectly well. And it's a model that we think that uh, many in the in the country, especially in the rural areas to be able to to adopt. Another thing that going forward, even government, when they establish boreholes, they should look at solar as an alternative uh, energy strategy. Mm. So in response, uh, the village has replaced ESCOM power at its, as, uh, at its boreholes with these uh, solar panels uh, in a bid to also reduce electricity costs. Uh, t talk us a bit further through this intervention and how the community has also received this project. It has been well well received. You know, I, I must say with a lot of humility that uh, at the time when we approached uh, uh, 91 uh, Asset Management, um, we we had a debt of about 300,000 rand to, to owing to ESCO. And they were on the verge of cutting electricity. Part of the package and support from 91 Asset Management entailed them paying for that debt, for us to be debt free uh, when we start with a solar a, a project. So the community has been uh, overwhelmed by the support, uh, very heavy, um, and then they feel somewhat, you know, blessed with the fact that from the heat that we normally complain about, we now get, uh, you know, solar energy 
uh, to power our water and also to power our agricultural schemes. We are a farming community. We love farming. Uh, we create jobs through farming. So all of that comes as a package that is uh, that supports development with clean energy, which is affordable, reliable, and sustainable. With the power cuts that we have with ESCOM, uh, you, you will find that there are days where we go without water because mm. the no shedding is, is upon us. Now, as you know, uh, jobs are very scarce in the country. Speak to us about how many jobs that this particular project has managed to uh, benefit uh, the community there. So the, the agricultural uh, projects that we have combined with environmental projects, uh, at any, in any given point in time, we have about 500 people or more mm. working on the land, uh, with various uh, jobs we also have. Um, students that are on learnerships uh, on mixed agriculture mm. because the agriculture that we have is on vegetables, uh, so the cattle, goats, sheep, even um, wild animals because we have a nature reserve here at, at Matilda Village. So all of that will require sustainable and reliable energy going forward. And I think that the solar way is the best way to, to go forward regarding this, the energy solutions in a rural village like Matilda. Now, the project is an initiative uh, by the Matsila Community Development Trust, and you had already spoken to us a bit about how the project is also being funded. But for those who are watching the program, and maybe even private business who might want to lend a helping hand, uh, how do they get in touch with you? Um, my email address is uh, simple. It's chief at matsila.co.za. Uh, chief at matsila.co.za, and I think there in the studio you have my, my uh, phone number for those that will be able to, 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 to help us. But what we must emphasize is that we also help other villages and other communities to develop themselves. Uh, and if people assist us, then they will be putting us in a better position to assist others as well. We have a lot of delegation of people coming from FIRES, KwaZulu, Natal, East and Cape, coming to see our model of development. And I think that if we join hands with the private sector in particular and government, then we can go far in South Africa. Now that project uh, consists of about six solar plants powering 10 boreholes, which uh, provide water for domestic consumption to about 10,000 people and for vegetable as well as livestock farming projects in that area. That's Chief uh, Livuano, rather Kosi Livuani uh, Matsila, speaking to us there about the project in that area. It's still